Hello. Sorry I'm so late today. <laughs> Genuinely my bad. <laughs> well actually, okay, I have an excuse. It's not a great one, but it's a genuine excuse. Um, wait, how's it going? Okay, going to the chatting screen. Sup? Everything's so much brighter behind me than it actually is in real life. Also, my hair's a mess. Love it. Love it so much. Okay, so the reason I was late is because I had a really bad um, skin moment today. That sounds really weird. I I had a, a really bad, like, it's not a, I don't want to say like, I guess breakout? I don't know what the word to use is because, I mean, there's better words I can use, but I had a really bad time with my skin today. I have a, a love-hate relationship with with my skin at like multiple times of the day and also my cousin was using the shower downstairs when I was using the shower so I ended up being like okay I'll just take a shower later and then that ended up making my skin worse because it ended up being like haha you're actually really itchy now that you got out of the shower and if you get back in the shower it's gonna be painful so <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's why today, I didn't mean for it to be this late, it's just how things bloody happen, so it was very upsetting. Um, and then bef while stream was getting, um, while I was setting up stream during starting soon, I was looking at a lot of the footage from the counter-protest in Auckland today, and I'm so fucking happy. <laughs> I wish I could, I wish I could be there today. But it looks so, oh my god. I'm so happy for the people that went and the people who this affects. Because the turnout looks incredible. Honestly. The the turnout to that protest is genuinely incredible. Fuck that bitch. For real. She, like, they took over the um, gazebo in Albert Park. The, uh, as in the counter protesters. They got to, they took over the the gazebo and she didn't get a fucking chance to speak and i'm like fuck yes nice so good hell yes oh my god it is top tier for those that don't know there's um there was this uh, very i don't know how to say this an awful woman <laughs> came to came to auckland she's going to be in wellington tomorrow um, her and a bunch of fucking turfs came to, uh, let women speak. And she's not even a fucking feminist. She's actually, like, at this point, anti-feminist and anti-trans and, oh my fucking god. Yeah, I would have gone with you, Harley, but it's just like, oh. I, it's difficult. It's difficult. But I send all my love to those that are affected, but also I'm so happy for those that, um, that went and all the, um, progress. I, progress? I don't know if that's the word. I'm so happy for what happened today, essentially. It looks great. And it's the whole counter protest started at 11. Now it's like nearly 12.30 and they've already like run her out of the park, top tier. See, when the country fails to kick someone out, um, the people gotta do it. <laughs> yikes, 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 yikes. <laughs> Good times. It is progress. This is a great step in the right direction. Yeah, I guess so. I don't, I wasn't sure if progress was the right word, but I guess it definitely is progress. I never know what to say about these topics because... I'm literally just an ally, but I am also very empathetic towards those that are affected by this, so hell yeah, that is a, that is a top tier moment for today. Um, so we are back in the Uberhood today, back in Baldona Cove. We're playing two very fun families. Um, I had to restart stream twice because I was like, oh, m why was it? Why was Twitch not letting me um, do this thing? Yeah, 
funny thing. Um, forgot that Twitch has it, so you can't put the word bitches in the title. <laughs> so I ended up just censoring the entire word, but you guys know what I mean. You guys know exactly what I mean. Witches get- see, exactly- it rhymes. It rhymes, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my god. Um, part of me was really tempted to, like, do a little bit of a sim stream and then play a completely random other game after. But it really depends how I feel, because I need to make some progress in this Uberhood, because Baladona Cove is huge, and there's a lot of families, and we've only played, like, four. Yeah, we've, played, we've only played, like, four. Allies get a bad rep because there is a lot of virtual signaling, white saviors under the ally umbrella. Ugh. Yeah, there's definitely a, there's definitely a fuck ton of those, and it, it sucks. It sucks that people do that for almost like some sort of clout going like yeah I'm an ally and really they don't really perpetuate the yeah I don't know it's like it's all talk at times but so yeah it, it's kind of iffy it's iffy but I don't know I try my best to be there for my friends um whether they're trans NB, um, LGBT, the whole sort. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go into live scene, change my game capture. Thank you, game, for like being funny. Ahaha, change the game. Come on, where are we? We're here. We're in Baladonna Cove. God, I feel like so I've been rushing so much today. God damn. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm running, but I'm in my seat. Also, sorry for those that heard my lovely breathing ASMR. Good times. Um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. So, if I check my spreadsheet, today we are starting off with, I should have done it. See, it would have made, my title would have made sense if it was getting bitches and witches, but it doesn't make sense because witches is just one word and that needs to go first in the title because if you put a two word um, thing first and then a, a one word thing, then it doesn't make sense. It kind of just, the, the rhythm stops. So we're going to play the contender family first. Okay. Um, it's only one guy. Um, over here in this, for once, a house, uh, Mr. Carlos Contender. So his, I was going to say sim bio, his family bio says, Carlos had a career that was the stuff of legends, but even more legendary were his romantic pursuits. Now that he's thinking about retirement, he's trying to focus on his niece Isabel and her family, but his romantic nature is still strong and Belladonna Cove is filled with such interesting possibilities. This man is interesting. <laughs> he's, um, oh, I don't know how to describe him. I love him. He's fun, but uh, he's a skis. <laughs> he's a bit of a skis. He's a bit of a perv. I don't know. He's a bit iffy. Old man going after younger woman, essentially. Good times. Good times. Um. Also, another thing I kind of need to talk about is I don't think I'm going to be able to stream next Saturday because Sh Sean... Uh, my boyfriend is going to be uh, in Auckland. I may be able to stream on Thursday because he's coming up on Thursday, which he would usually get there around 11 um, in the morning. But um, I can still do a stream, I think. It's just that uh, I think it'll have to be a shorter stream. And that one will be the Power Wash Simulator um, with Mel. Because I, I love our therapy sessions. If you, if you don't stop by our Power Wash Simulator streams, you don't have to sh stop by for the game. It's honestly just like a lot of gossip, um, a lot of laughs. Me and Mel have this great chemistry, honestly. Like, it's kind of crazy that I only started talking to her a little bit after I started streaming, essentially. 
and now she streams and it's so much fun. I love, I love streaming with her. She's so much fun. Oh my God. God damn. Good, good energy whenever we stream together. Um, but yeah, so that stream will probably be shorter. And then Saturday, we won't be able to do a sim stream because I'll feel bad because... I always feel bad about like Sean drives like three and a half four hours to come visit me and then I spend like four hours streaming and he's like doing something on the side and I feel bad so I kind of want to dedicate my weekend to him um, because I don't get to see him much or as much as I like long distance sucks <laughs> but I'm very excited to see him and also he's coming up for graduation which I graduate on Friday next week which is in five days oh my god I need to find I need to find a hairdresser to um book getting my hair done I'll do that tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> always leaving things last minute classic me classic me mama I'm very excited though very very excited um I'm almost wondering whether I start my Tuesday stream a little bit earlier to at least make up for like maybe do like one Sims family like we can play one Sims family on Tuesday I know um, a lot of my friends and my New Zealand audience may not be able to make it but at least some of my maybe American slash European friends can make it. Hey Mel, I was just talking about you before actually. About how energy when and chemistry when we stream is top tier. Top tier stuff, honestly. Well, hello Mel. Ah, uh, I just remembered what's happening with this man. <laughs> okay, so this is Carlos Contender. He looks a fuck ton better than when I first loaded up this Uberhood. Because when I first loaded up my Uber hood, he looked atrocious. <laughs> I need to blow my nose, bro. Ugh. I feel like my hair is like tickling my nose. God damn. Okay. Anyways, cast contender. He, so usually in Maxis, um, like vanilla okay when you load up a regular bells on a cove without getting a clean template carlos is a popularity sim um but i have downloaded meet me to the rivers uh clean templates of bells on a cove and all the other all the other um neighborhoods in sims 2 and so in this clean template carlos is a romance sim and that's why I did that fan art of us. Oh yes, yes. I, can I show stream? Can, can I show stream, Mel? It looks so cute. Also, thank you, Harley, for doing that. Yeah, if you want. Okay. Um, I need to figure out a way to. Okay, I'm gonna. Sh so Mel did some really, really cute, like mellow sci fan art. Ta da! <laughs> I need to zoom in a bit, I think. But it's so cute! It's Mellow's side! Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> so we got... With the with the purple, we got Mel. Little marshmallow. And then over here, we got a... We got the the sandwich, the houseplant. With the little tea. Because, uh, you know... When we stream, it's... um There's a lot of tea spilt. I want to say that's my first time doing pixel art, so I'm not that good. It looks amazing. <laughs> it looks so good. I love it. It's so good. I love it so much. I'm going to keep repeating what I say. I don't know. I don't know. But it's, yeah. Top tier. Top tier. Especially for, like, first time doing pixel art. Looks great. Yeah, see, Harley in chat says it looks great. So you got nothing to worry about. Um, anyways, I'm going to go... Oh, opening up all the tabs real quick. Um, I'm going to go back to the game. The game. 
Okay, so yeah, Carlos is a romance sim instead of a popularity sim. Um, and it fits a lot more with his personality because he he's kind of like an elderly Don Lothario. And in my headcanon, Don Lothario looks up to Carlos a lot. Um, cause, and also like, I imagine Carlos would be a pretty famous, famous sim in my uberhood because he's a hall of famer, uh, top of the athletic career, which means he's a famous superstar athlete. Okay. So yeah, famous superstar athlete. Everyone would know him. So Don would know him and would look up to him going like, oh my God, that man gets all the ladies, but also, um, if you look at his little uh, want slot on the side, <laughs> he's got a... <laughs> Carlos knows Don. But he wants to kiss Don. So <laughs> he kind of wants... <sighs> I don't know. I've got a mix. I kind of think Don, in some ways, is a better person than Carlos. Because <laughs> I feel like Carlos, at times can like take advantage of people and I don't know it's really that's in my brain though if anyone's got other perspectives on Carlos Contender please let me know or send them my way I'm willing to take any ideas or not take but like listen to any ideas and stuff like that but I definitely view Carlos right now as a bit of a manipulator um, his lifetime want is to earn 10,000 simoleons as a personal fitness trainer. So the way I'm going to have him lure in possible romantic pursuits, um, is through being a personal trainer. He's gonna be like, yeah, I'm a personal trainer. I could help you out. And then while they're doing that, he seduces them. That's my plan for him. Um... Because other than that, playing elders is pretty boring. But you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> um, so Carlos's sim bios is, Carlos thinks a lot about his boxing days and what could have been, but there's nothing like a new romance to make him feel young again. See, I don't know why they made him a popularity sim in vanilla gameplay. Makes no sense. No sense at all. I don't know why. But um, he could have been like, yeah, I'm just making a lot of friends, guys. No. Mm -mm. No. No. <laughs> um, let me check his relationships real quick. Oh, lovely. Pink Soup. Isabel Pink Soup, top tier. So he has got two bolts already with Jessica Peterson. Um, Jessica Peterson, in her, her kind of lore in Belladonna Cove is that, like, she um, divorced uh, Armand de Bateau left him because she didn't want to have kids with him and then she is kind of going after Carlos for his money um because Carlos has 84k in funds so Jessica Peterson is definitely a possibility usually Kimberly Cordial would also be a possibility but in my uberhood she is 100% gay um I'm just checking who else we've got oh yeah chastity gear uh, Don Lothario, of course, who he's got two bolts with. Cleo, who is, um, very pregnant, but he's got three bolts with. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Actually, that's interesting. Interesting, interesting. Maybe Cleo can have a sugar daddy. Ah, <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Um, so... Carlos is interested in adventurous sims that are also animal lovers, but he does not like athletic... <gasps> that makes sense. He doesn't like sims that are athletic, but, like, if they're... So, if they're too fit already and they don't need his help. So, he's luring in the unfit sims that need a little bit of extra help, and he's like, oh, yeah, I can help you out. You know, I got a... What do you have? A lift... Do you have the weights? Well, not weights. What's the strength machine called? Do you not have a... Wait, is it upstairs? Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got a... Oh, yeah. You've got a boxing... What's this called? 
A punching bag. Why do I... <sighs> My brain. He's got a punching bag and a strength workout machine. And then he's got a kind of makeshift boxing ring up here. That's kind of um interesting, Maxis. Very interesting. Um, So, Carlos's traits are ambitious, athletic, charismatic, flirty, family-oriented, and party animal, and night owl. I forgot he had an extra trait. Um, he's family-oriented because he's still trying to get back in Isabel Baldwin's good books because he is Isabel's uncle. Um, every now and then, Isabel is like, oh my god, my uncle's doing some embarrassing shit that's gonna ruin our reputation in the high society, and she has to kind of cover it up. And stuff like that. How does one use that boxing ring by themselves? Well, they invite people over. <laughs> but it doesn't even... It's literally just a, a red chair and a blue chair. It's very interesting. God damn. Um, and then last thing is his... Yeah, I made popularity his secondary aspiration. So at least I'd keep a little bit from... Uh, from his... Vanilla himself um but yeah i think that's everything hey want to come over and let me beat you up that's what i would imagine his combos sound like yeah i think so okay we're gonna press, press play um i kind of want to get him to retire he's supposed to be going into retirement so i think i'll get him to call up on the phone and he can retire Call, work, retire. You can get your payouts. And since he's at the top of the career, it might be not too bad. Retire from job. Would you like to retire? Sure. So he gets 649 simoleons daily. Cool. Um, he wants to be best friends with Don. We're inviting Don over. Perfect. And he wants to kiss Don. We could give Don some uh, some pointers. Oh, Don's not home. Okay, that's fine. We'll invite Jessica over then. If Jessica's home. I don't think Jessica's got a job. Or maybe she does. She might be in the slacker career. I'm checking real quick. Don't mind me. Uh, Jessica Peterson. Yep, slacker career. I thought so. Can my friend come over too? Sure, Jessica. Yeah. What should be Peter Onimus? That would be so funny. Because uh, Jessica and Peter went on a date <laughs> when we were playing River Blossom Hills. Good times, good times. Um, also, Carlos's house is rather... It's, it's interesting. It's um... It almost looks like a Spanish villa in a really cheap Sims way. Oh, Trisha Traveller. Great everyone. Use your foot. Uh, what the heck? I was gonna say use your legs, but I said use your foot. I was gonna try and tell him to walk faster. Hello, I'm I'm Carlos. You wanna go on an island vacation? Um, okay. Well you can talk with Jessica, you can entertain Jessica. You're not really that bothered with Trisha right now, I don't think. Are you? <gasps> You're definitely attracted to her though. But she's married. Interesting. Well, I kind of want to go up and offer lessons? Wait. So, if I have a look. Uh, you want to make a living by training others on exercise equipment. Start spending time at a gym and building your body skill to be able to offer your services as a personal trainer to less experienced people. Find customers on community lots or open your own place. You will earn money have flick oh wait so i need to look this up real quick 
Um, Sims 2 Lifetime wants 50. I love how the entryway has tiles and it leads around to the actual house and ends. Yeah. It's, um... Good times. And then there's just carpet and then, like, the only other tile bit is the kitchen. It's, um... It's not the worst house I've seen. But it definitely looks like a Max's house. And also, don't even get me started with upstairs. Like, there's a bench! These are benches! Like, park benches! Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, carpet, and then it's like this weird, like, puzzle piece flooring. Like, stuff you'd find at Chipmunks, the kids' playground area. Good times. Bench goes hard. A whole new meaning to benching. Um, okay. 50 new lifetime wants. I need to open up this lifetime wants mod the sims file because I need to see how you would actually uh, I need to look at personal trainer there we go um if free time is installed pretty pretty s oh no, no wait, wait. I, rem I recommend getting a fix for personal trainer interaction interesting do I have to... Hmm... I need to play around with these a bit more off camera. I might have him open his own gym eventually, if that's the case. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, good thing I have a new hood because I can just kind of you know, play around with some of these things. But he, I, I might have him buy a gym at some point then. Which would be good. Hmm. Interesting. Um, is the phone ringing? Who the heck is calling? Foam tiles, yeah, for real goes too hard, honestly. Has anyone ever been in a foam pit? Just random questions. Oh, it's, um... Vivian. Oh, boy. Hey, I found some new places to hang out at downtown. Do you want to meet me there? Oh, I love going downtown. Going downtown so fun in this game. Okay, yeah, we're going down that downtown with Vivian. Um, those that don't know, um, if you weren't here last sim stream, um, Vivian Cho and Timothy Riley were supposed to get married, but Timothy left Vivian at the altar. So Vivian is kind of going through some things right now, and also she also. I said also twice. She also just had Timothy's baby, which is... I forget his name. The baby's name. What was the name? I'm checking. Oh my god, did I not put it in? Quentin! The baby's name is Quentin. Yeah. Named by the wonderful... Mirror. Mirror named my child. Good times. Um, where are we going? <laughs> I need to choose. Um. We could go to the Lulu Lounge. I seem to always take my Sims there, but I really like going there. Either always go Lulu Lounge or Lucky Shack Cards and Drink, because I like the poker tables. I used to go to Tramp Parks and there's plenty there. What's a tramp park? What's a tramp park, Harley? See, when I hear tramp, I think trampoline. Oh, wait. No, I think you're right. Trampoline, right? Am I correct? Is it trampoline? Because we've got jump, I think. Is it called jump? 
We've got a place like that in Auckland. Like those big warehouses full of tramps, yeah. See, there's two ways you could take tramp. <laughs> yeah, jump. Yeah, we've got, we got jump in uh, Auckland. I've never been. I always saw people going and I was like, oh, that's cool. That would be cool to learn to do flips on a trampoline and stuff. I used to have my own trampoline, but my cousins kind of ripped it accidentally. My family weren't impressed though. We should go. I love tramp parks. Hell yeah, we should go sometime. IRL stream at the tramp park. <laughs> Good times. I hope my game doesn't crash as much today as it did last stream. But now that I say it, it's probably gonna jinx it. You wanna be BFS with Vivian? You wanna be friends with Trisha? You wanna go on a date? You wanna meet someone new? Okay. Okay. Gotta do another Denny's trip? The fact that you say that we need to go to Denny's again is kind of terrifying. Who's here? Oh, you brought your child. Vivian's like, hey, would you like to go on a, a little downtown trip with me and my child? Itsu is, um... Itsu's uncomfortable. She got, she got forced to come here by her mum, who was going through a whole bunch of heartbreak. With this creepy old man. <laughs> Fucking hell. God damn. The lighting's really weird out here. I'm still gonna take this. Hell yeah, take your kids to the club. That's too funny. Okay, well, out of tab mode. I'll take more screenshots if I can. Who else is here? Is it just you two? Vivian has no friends. She only has her child. Who the f- Marcel Guevara. You're not terrible looking, but the grey hair on the dark skin looks a little iffy, Max's, but you know, it's not like um, darker sims don't get grey hair, it's just, it's, it looks so strange. I wish I could talk to this DJ, but they don't let me. It'll look great as the thumbnail. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, order drink. Blended. Why not? I need to download, like, some drinks. But also, sometimes I'm very iffy because I'm like, it doesn't actually look as good as I want. Anna Patel. Pregnant woman coming to the club. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, at the bar would be good. Oh, it looks iffy though. I want to get. Oh, wait, wait, I got it. I'm trying my best. I'm sorry about the ceiling. It's a little, uh. They don't, um, do that stuff. Oh, wait, I'm doing this. Going back down. There we go. Thank you, Harley, for assisting me in my screenshot taking. Good times. If you're not already, go subscribe to the VODs channel. I'm at 53 subscribers, and it's pretty cool. Very pro thumbnails right now. <laughs> Honestly, reshade helps a lot. <laughs> reshade it helps me a lot. I really like how my game looks. This man is like yawning and he's having a drink. I feel so bad for Vivian. She's going through a fuck ton right now. Thank you for putting my links, Harley. Oh yeah, I got another. Her eyes look so nice. I know. I'm so proud of how I... Honestly, since I changed her makeup, her eye makeup looks so much better. And they accentuate her eyes a lot more. They look very nice. I 
still need to download more makeup though, I think. Like, better eyeshadows. She looks so pretty. Yeah. She looks so pretty, yet she got left at the altar last time. So, the poor thing. And then her... Oh my god, her daughter. I forgot. Her daughter. Hi, Etsu. How's it going? What are you doing, Etsu? Where are you? Oh, you're laughing at the art. That's a mood. Oh, you're both going in the... Oh, Etsu, you don't want to watch this. I don't think you want to watch this. Why don't you go dance, Etsu? With the pregnant woman and the old man. It's always the pretty ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go dance, Etsu. Who's this? <gasps> Janelle! Wait. Oh, shit. Or oh, Janelle. This is, um... Oh, God. This is, um... Janelle Triku. She's one of the adults in the Triku family, and I've turned the entirety of the Triku family into vampires. Um, but in vanilla gameplay, when you have Sims 2 Nightlife um, and you have a downtown area, uh, all the Trikus are dead. And um, them and Raynal Ninja separately lived in the House of the Fallen Trees in downtown, and they mysteriously died. Um, it's based off of a novel, I forget what it's called, but where this house drives these people insane and it leads them to death and stuff like that. Um, but in my Uberhood, I have downloaded a live versions of the Triku family and the Ninja families, and I've turned Raynal Ninja into a neutral witch um, who is investigating her own death and why she's been brought back to life and then the chakus i've brought back and they're all vampires so a hot tub and a fucking club yep most definitely <laughs> since when did clubs have hot tubs all the sims 2 clubs have hot tubs <laughs> if these two woohoo i swear to fucking god i don't know if i want him to go on a date with with vivian You know, I'm thinking of um, adding a channel point redemption called Do What I Say. <laughs> and you, I, I have to do whether in game or in life or in real life, like the thing that is chosen with reason, within reason. I'm trying to think of other ideas for channel point redemptions. This old man. <laughs> what a club. Are you sure about that? With reason. Oh god, you guys are cuddling. I need to make her selectable. What do you want to do? Okay. Okay, Carlos. Okay, Vivian. Vivian's moving on fast. Um, we really are doing the thing in the title, aren't we? The truth is, her daughter's out there! Her daughter! Her daughter's just standing there! They're all watching! They're all watching. They're all watching. That's out of line. Poor Etsu. Can we all get an F for for Etsu, please? <laughs> Her mother's kind of going through some stuff right now. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? I gotta go put out the washing barrel back all good. God damn, what the fuck just happened? Well, go meet Janelle at least. You have a crush on Vivian. Oh, are you going home, Janelle? Okay, that's fine. Um, well, since there's a child, I think we should go home. Um, can we end casual group? 
can we... Oh wait, I have to click on myself. End casual group. It's a little too late for the child to be out. That was cool. It was nice to hang out with people who know how to have a good time. Um, yeah, it totally is. Especially when you bring your bloody child along. God damn. I could take him to another community lot. Meet some new people. It's not like he's got anything else to do with his life. Joe Carr. What if I, um... Oh my god, I know... In my Uber hood, I think I've got General Buzz as like a closet... As a closet case, essentially. He's very much in the closet. What have I got Carlos to meet General Buzz? That would be funny. That would be really, really funny. Also, carpet outside. Red carpet. Not really red, but it's like... Uh, maroon? Oh, chastity! Hey! Greet. No, no, greet. Chastity, wait. Um, okay, we are going downtown. We... Why don't we go to the Lucky Shack Cards and Drink? We might as well go to the two lots that we go to the most. What are you doing, Chastity? Walk away from Portal. So Chastity is another romance sim in Baldonna Cove. She's um she's gorgeous, she's pretty. Um she lives with Mr. Gabriel Green. She's pretty as fuck. I love her. I love her so much. She's actually like gorgeous. And also I get I got to put this really cute jumpsuit on her and I love it. I love it. She's pulling off the vibes. Um, I kind of want to ask her to go on an outing with us. To form casual group just for fun. Come join us, Chastity. Okay, go to community lot. <laughs> Come to the community lot, Chastity. I asked you to join for a reason. Yes, Chastity. Come on, get in the car. Never mind, I don't think you're getting in the car. Are you? <gasps> you are. <gasps> nice. Nice. Progress. Good times. <sighs> Hopefully. I Well, good thing. Even though... Okay. How about starting a sentence and finishing that? <laughs> um, what's it called? Yeah, even though I didn't get much sleep last night. Hopefully, today's stream goes a little bit better than la the last sim stream because I feel like at the end of the last sim stream I was just getting a lot more drained but that's also possibly because my game kept crashing and I was just getting frustrated um so we're here we always love coming here I need to make some more poker lots honestly oh Janelle's back hello chastity um, let's ask her on a date. Because you want to go on a date, right? <laughs> um, so, you want to fall in love? You want to flirt? You want to talk? Okay. Well, you can talk, gossip. You want to play cards with chastity and you fear getting married. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Entertain. Dirty joke. You want to have a polo fight. That's weird. Be tickled. Nice. You want to be BFFs with Vivian? Interesting. Oh my god. Janelle. 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 <laughs> This is, um, interesting. I think I need to go one floor up again. 
this is quite the interesting look. Honestly, I'm getting screenshots in advance. <laughs> Can you move your arm, Janelle? She looks awesome though. And also she's got a, her wedding ring. God, she's terrifying. She's actually terrifying. Oh nice. <laughs> I love jump bugs. Hello. I need to give her a makeover still because I haven't touched this family at all. I've been trying not to um, play or work too much on sim stuff when I'm off stream because I don't want to get too burnt out before stream. But I know there's some stuff I need to work on. Uh, you want to have a pillow fight. Okay. Have a pillow fight, I guess, in the middle of the street. Okay. Who's on the lot? Titania, Summer Dream, we got Virginia Royce, and Mrs. Crumplebottom, and Dirk Dreamer. Why is Dirk Dreamer here? I don't know. You want to dance, you want to appreciate. Oh, Sandy Broody. Wait, wait, wait. That's a good one to meet. Hello, Sandy. Uh, appreciate back rub. Sandy Broody's is an another romance. Um, guaranteed romance right there. You want to kiss and make out? And hug? And flirt? Okay. Um, goose. <laughs> Classic Carlos Contender. What a disgusting man. Oh, okay, so Chastity's in love with him. Okay, you want to bring Chastity home. Hug, squeeze. No, Janelle, please stop singing. Janelle, please stop singing. J You want to get engaged to Carlos? Oh, honey, no. Honey, no. Uh, oh, boy. You want to woohoo with Carlos and have very f first woohoo with Carlos. There's nowhere here to woohoo, so we might as well ask you back home. Um, okay, we'll ask you back home, I guess. Ask back to my place. Oogie oogie oogie. <laughs> You're, she's singing out of time as well. <sighs> Tough crowd. I kind of want to make a karaoke bar. I like the karaoke bars that are in The Sims 3. I think they're fun. Um, we could almost like turn one of these lots into being its own honorary karaoke bar. Or we could have someone buy a karaoke bar. Like any sort of... Um, I'll be appreciated, no. Um, any sort of sims that are interested in owning a bar like the Larson slash the land grabs because they each own their own sort of separate bars but if there's a sim that has an interest in like owning their own business like a bar and then also has like the music and dance hobby then I might have them own a karaoke bar but I think I'm going to have that depend on whether they're more of a secondary popularity or more of a secondary fortune because if it's like or it doesn't have to be secondary but like whether they have more fortune or popularity based 
aspirations, I guess. Because Fortune, I was just I would just kind of associate it with just being a regular bar. Popularity, I would kind of have it be more karaoke bar based. I kind of want to have a bunch of Sims owning like their own businesses so that when we go to community lots, um, my other families are still making money and it'd be fun. Uh oh, I didn't want to quit. Um, stuff like that. I want to, and then also help in trying to create a more integrated Uberhood, which I've been talking about for ages. I really want to have an, trying to work towards an integrated Uberhood. Um, especially in like talking about where these workplaces that my sims have to go like the stadium would obviously be in Baldona Cove but you can have different police stations and like like the giant state police station in um, Baldona Cove like the giant prison like a state prison or something like that and then have little suburban police houses and Pleasant view and stuff like that. Um, the military would be in Strange Town, obviously. But yeah, I'm just thinking about shit like that. Um, off street. No, don't go home. You're joking. We were going to woohoo. Oh, oh well. Holly, Holly, holy cow! I never knew a date could be that much fun. You're a total dream to spend time with. We just got to do that again, baby. I can't believe how late it is. I should be getting home. Lame. Chastity, you're lame. <laughs> no, she's fine. We'll invite her over the next day, maybe. Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> Bro, you sound so disappointed. I am! We were going to get our second... We were going to get laid for the second time tonight, okay? And it didn't happen because she was like, Oh, it's a little late. She really wanted to work Yeah, I did. <laughs> Me when no woohoo, Harley. Do I even have to say? <laughs> um, what is your hobby, sir? I guess we could make it fitness. <laughs> Cry. Disappointed woohoo moment. <laughs> um, we could have him. What's your body skill at? Oh, Max. Cool. <laughs> Workout, I guess. Even though it's 5 a.m., you're not even tired moment the moment um what is your hobby sports i guess i should have you work on punching the punching bag then rather than fitness <laughs> yeah because um you get sports enthusiasm from the punching bag while this i don't even know what this is called what is this called the multi-press exercise machine. Yeah, that. That gives you fitness enthusiasm. Um, but he's a sports hobby sim, so I'm doing the boxing over the strength workout. Um, I was going to look up if there's any places like where we can buy a... What was I saying? Where we can buy a gym. I think Blue Water Village has a gym. Think, I believe. Yeah, they've got one, two, three plus gym. Which could be fun. We could kind of deck it out. Oh, what did you deliver? Oh, a bouquet of roses. Cool. I can't pick it up until you leave. Cool. Um, pick that up. Put it uh, on your fireplace, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking we buy a gym. So, real estate, purchase community lot. Why not? Actually, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, buy it first and then we'll call up Isabel going like, Hey, my favourite niece. We are, I made a bit of a purchase and she's going to be like, You did what? Um, yeah, I bought a whole gym. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to woo all the ladies from it. They're going to be like, oh, you own a gym? And Isabel's going to be a little annoyed. <laughs> going like, are you joking? Why not just be a regular old man and happily retire? So, okay. 
what sort of places have we got in terms of gymming? Uh, I'm just looking through everything. I know we've got one, one, two, three plus gym, Blue Water Village. I'm just seeing if we've got any other options. I need to get some more restaurants as well. The Von Doge, uh Gallery. Wait, surely Belladonna Cove has a gym, right? Art museum, groceries, public library, coffee shop. Kratos Gym. That might... I know this one might look better than the Blue Water Village one. Because the Blue Water Village one has a lovely, lovely uh, colour scheme of blue and yellow. It looks disgusting. Okay. This one's worth 62k. Oh. Any other places? Any other places? Sport park. Yeah, no. That river Blossom Hills has fuck all. Strange town has okay. And then just regular downtown. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we buy the gym in Baldonna Cove. It's closer for Carlos. It's gonna cost a lot. But I think it'll be worth it. Are you sure you want Carlos to purchase Kratos Gym for 62.7k? Uh, Carlos is now the owner of Kratos Gym. A copy of the deed has been placed in Carlos's inventory. Exciting. Very exciting. We're going to have an omelette for breakfast. And then we'll head out. And add some stuff like a ticket booth to the lot. I'm very excited. I'm not very good at playing these types of lots where it relies on the ticket booth for money, but I think it's cool. I'll try it out. Oh my god, and then we can eventually like hire like like you know how sometimes there's those older men that are surrounded by the younger girls going like hey do this thing for me and then she's like okay stuff like that it's a little yikes but he can hire like slightly younger girls to uh help him out at the gym sugar daddy type stuff honestly i just realized he's got a little woohoo symbol on his on his uh tracksuit <laughs> Some Leonardo DiCaprio level shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doesn't date anyone over 25. Or I guess it's 26 at this point. Okay. You can clean up. And I'll have you call taxi. <coughs> I just want to check. I kind of want to put his punching bag in his inventory to bring to the lot. Oh, I have an ad running on my other account. Good times, ad time for me. Oh, you've got a dessert plate. Cool. I'll bring that for now, I guess. I'll try it out. And then we'll call up Isabel in the process. Taxi will swing by soon to pick you up. Um, Isabel. Just talk. Hey, Missy! I, uh, he seems like one of the, the, the men that would, the old men that would say Missy. Which makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> He'd be like, hey, Missy, I, uh, I bought myself a gym today. I bought a gym. Yeah. And he's like, you didn't. Not the one in town. And he's like, that's the one. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'll 
I like imagining, uh, imagining, imagining these silly conversations. Well, hopefully, he might end up asking her for more money at some point, because he literally spent 60k on this gym. I'm going to save as well, by the way. That's the other thing I was going to do, because I don't want to lose progress. God damn. I really want to play Minecraft. I am... Um, so, I was playing Minecraft for a lot of yesterday. I went mining. And I want to make a little cottage core little village on my single player world, but I wish I had people to... I wish I had a server. <laughs> but, you know. And it's fine. Okay, hang up. Because we need to go to the, your gym. Yeah, I'm building a little cottage core village that I want to do um, with my CIT packs. I kind of want to download more CIT packs because I'm kind of obsessed with them. I saw Ghoulcraft has like 2000 plus stuff and I'm like, holy lord. But a lot of the things look very modern in Ghoulcraft. So I'm a little on the fence about whether I get that or not. I love cottage core. Me too. <laughs> I love cottage core so much. Cottage Court. Honestly, it all started with Stardew Valley. That got me into Cottage Court because I saw this. Um, I saw a visual mod that changes the look of the game, and it looks so nice. It's about time we have another Minecraft server. Hey Mal, how about that Minecraft series you're doing on your on your Twitch on Sunday? By the way, if you aren't already, oh, I suck at typing. <laughs> That one! <laughs> Go follow Miss Mallow! She's doing a Minecraft series with her boyfriend and they're playing on Sunday and they're making a medieval world based off of the D&D &D campaign that myself and a bunch of the other boys um, are doing on Mr. Nano Attack 02's channel. By the way, go drop a follow with Nano Attack 02. We're doing a D&D &D campaign. It's been very fun. Okay, we're on the lot. This isn't a bad looking gym, actually. It looks pretty good. I like it. I'm so glad we bought this one. Also, the columns are quite nice. I've never done this before. Okay, game. Okay, I see what you're doing. What I do need to do, though, is I need to put down a ticket booth. Whenever you have a lot where you want to charge them for entry, you need to put down this ticket machine, which means they will kind of line up around it and like kind of dwell on whether or not they want to really buy a ticket for entry, and most of the time they will. <laughs> I do want to put up a Minecraft server. Krillin thought it might be cool to add people. I think it'd be fun. I'd be down. It's giving a bit of dojo vibes. Yeah, I love it. It's like modern dojo. What they do need though is um, there's more, there's different types of exercise equipment. Oh my god, what if I added a yoga like mod? Like we could have yoga mats and so oh my god, the ideas, the ideas. Can you put the ticket thing up near the door? I can, but they'll. Do you want me to put it in here? Wait, um, set, oh I need, set quarter tile placement on, uh, move objects on, okay, like here, like in this archway sort of thing, my only worry is, um, is routing, but it should be okay. Also, another thing I want to add is the visitor controller. Oh, and I'll add a sim blender just for fun. Sim blender's always good to have, just in case. Um, now, do we have a different version of that other plant that is always in these max slots? No. That's fine. 
Okay. Well, I need. I want to have the visit, uh, visitor controller anyway, so I'll just put it in this corner. Um, and I want to ban. Let me have a look. So. Ban children. Um, I kind of want to ban teens. <laughs> I shall talk to Krillin about the server thing. I don't know who would all join it, though, besides you. I think some of the boys will join, like Harley would. Harley would be keen. Those tiles outside ain't it either. They kind of yuck near the pool. Yeah, I'll change it. Um, I'll keep teens for now. Yeah, this is, um, not the vibe. <coughs> Let's have a look. So this is what they've got right now, which is kind of um interesting. <laughs> Definitely interesting to say the least. I don't know what sort of thing we want to have out here. We could just have like regular concrete. What do you say, Harley? Oh god, what is that? Ew. <laughs> oh that's okay. Don't mind that. I'm doing that for now. This looks okay. Something simple. Yeah. I think they need a bigger pool. This is literally just like a 40 tile pool. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Um, when we get more money, I think I'll expand the pool and give this whole lot a renovation, actually. It would be cool to make like locker rooms. I think that'd be fun. Um, okay. I kind of like this. This is kind of vibes. Um, eventually I also want to make a staff room. I thought, because the lot is quite tall. Oh no, it's not actually. I thought it was a two-story, but the height of the roof actually made it look like I was two-story. Never mind. Okay. Well, I kind of want to have a staff room eventually, like somewhere where he can take his prospects to woohoo with them in between their workouts. <laughs> and I want to see if I can put down that um, punching bag. I can. Cool. Um, we'll put it over here for now. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. <coughs> okay. Cool. Good times for Carlos. Um, and then we need to start. Wait. Yeah, start charging Sims or customers, I guess. I don't know why we've got these outside, but um, I'm just gonna leave them there for now. Also, I reckon Tadu and Jimmy would join that server probably, but I don't know how often Tadu would go on because he. Is working on a lot of stuff at the moment, but also he's playing a bunch of other games right now. Um, I'm gonna turn on the stereo as well, even though you guys won't hear the music because copyright. <laughs> yeah, it can play whatever the heck it wants to play. It's probably playing salsa right now because this game loves to play salsa music. Oh, Mortimer, hello. What are you doing? Set price. Yeah, twenty-one dollars. What are you doing, Mortimer? Mortimer? Hello? He just walked straight in. Oh well. Oh, this is the this guy here is my um review man. He does the reviews. Hello Cynthia, I'll basic sell to you. Justin Cleveland? Oh boy. Interesting. Well, we earned our first simoleon. Nice. The C in DMC DMCA stands for cringe. The Sims music is actually fire though. I wish I could play it. But oh well. 
Okay, how about we offer lessons to... Is your name Mark? I think it is Mark. Yeah. Because I kind of want to work towards this earn 10,000 Somalians as a personal trainer type beat. Hey Mira, how you doing? It's good to see you. We're currently playing Carlos Contender. We bought the Belladonna Cove uh, gym from. And we're going to use that as his guise for meeting new women. Also, so we want to offer lessons. Doing great, how about you? I'm doing good, yeah. I'm very excited to be playing these two families today, actually. <laughs> yes, this is what I wanted. Offering lessons. I don't know if he can do it with these things. I wish he could. But I can offer lessons with the punching bag, at least. I might need to look at some personal trainer mods. See how it goes. Hi, I can't stay for too long, but wanted to pop in and say hello. Thank you. Hi, Queen Negan. How are you doing? I don't. All good about. All good about. Um. Oh my god, I can't speak about not being able to stay long. I appreciate you saying hello, though. I love how everyone's just kind of dancing in here like a club. That tends to happen. I definitely think I need to get some sort of yoga mat mod. Because I want to encourage my sims to actually use this as a proper gym. Hmm, okay. Well, we're making money. Let me see. We have made... 168 Somalians, top tier, top tier. That's actually not too bad considering we're just making 21 Somalians an hour for each person. I think eventually I'm going to have to turn off the stereo just so they stop dancing all the time and they actually do work out, but... <coughs> but, I mean, the dancing seems to be helping um, with their loyalty status, customer loyalty at least right now. I actually really like this. I've never done a business like this before. So this is new to me. I've never, yeah, I've never owned a gym. I've done bars before, like clubs, but I haven't, and I've done restaurants. And then your typical actually selling a thing sort of shop. But I have never done a gym. <laughs> nice. We can offer lessons to Cynthia. Are you leaving? Is that you done? Damn. No good review. Goodbye, Mark. Um, now we've made 252 Somalians. Okay, okay. I like how we've got like vending machines, like chip packet ones and stuff here at a gym. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Um, I think we need another bathroom, but I'll just put this. I'll use the urinal, I guess. Mr. Carlos. Um, we can offer lessons to Cynthia after. Did you know the vanilla salon t chair is glitched? If you have it in a business, Sims won't ask for a makeover. I finally found a mod that fixes it. I was wondering why my salon business was flopping. Oh! Oh my god. I. What's the mod? Because, um... I think I'm definitely going to need it because I like having my like at least one family own a salon at some point. So, yeah. Okay, well, we'll, we'll offer lessons to Mortimer then. I think Mortimer kind of needs it because Mortimer 
Needs to lose a little bit of weight. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to need that salon um, mod because eventually I want, I think, Dina to um, own, a, own a salon or have Aaron Beaker own a salon. One of those two, definitely. Salon chair mod by Simla. Okay, I'm writing it down. Um, sticky notes. Similar 90. Similar 90 it does so much for the for the community. I swear I always see their mods recommended everywhere. Sims won't ever ask for a makeover if it's on a business law. I just thought I sucked at running a salon. That makes sense. That's such a weird glitch. But The Sims 2 is definitely very... It is definitely very ambitious for some of the things it put in in game. Tara Alby, hello. You live at the Cleveland's apartment um, block. Oh, nice. I might have to ask you to for to do lessons. Wait. So, if I have a look. Fitness. Talk about fitness, read health section, go jogging, make protein shakes, share hobby tips, blog about fitness, instruct in fitness. I don't think instructing is necessarily the thing we're looking for. Yeah, I think it's genuinely just high body skill that will get us the personal trainer stuff. Which is a little annoying. What about the treadmills? Maybe they're more likely to use the treadmills than... Okay, wait. This is going to be a little iffy and I'm going to definitely change this eventually. Oh, I can't bring myself to put it down. <coughs> I guess I have that mod. It got released not too long ago, right? I haven't tried it yet. Dustin Broke runs the salon and I haven't been to his rotation in a while. I'm hoping it fixes the glitches that I have with it. You've got Dustin running your salon? I love that. I love that for Dustin. A man of the people. I need to figure out where the heck I'm putting this. I guess over here for now. Um, yeah, sure. Can I? No, I can't even offer lessons on that. I need more personal trainer mods, I think. It's a little iffy. Hmm. Oh well, I'll give this place a makeover at some point. I'll put this away for now though. Nice. We have a profit again. <laughs> Offer lessons to Tara. In my game, Malcolm Langram married Brandy and helped Dustin get out of crime and into business. They run the salon together. Oh my god, I love that. I love Dustin redemption stories. Dustin Broke is genuinely one of my favourite Sims in Pleasant View. I'm still trying to figure out how to actually work towards this lifetime one, but I hope I'm on the right track. Have a party, be friends. I think I'm gonna have him close the gym at 7 p.m. He hasn't even slept. Then again, he does have the aspiration benefit for slower energy decay. And I'll probably get him this one as well eventually, because I don't want to have to worry about his needs all the time. Also, I love when the doors like are glitched open. Good times. Yeah, I'm still going to play around and figure out how to do some of this stuff. Oh, who's here? Andrew Tang, I still need to remove that 
default replacement from my game because I don't like English on my shirt or any of my clothes. God, this this woman's having a time. She's got a lot of anger to let out. She's pretty though. I just want to change her eyebrows because I don't like the Maxis eyebrows. <laughs> But she's cute. I definitely want someone to get with her at some point. I kind of want to... Um, oh, there's a witch loading. Is it Mary or is it the other one? I forget her name. I only know Mary. OMG, is she a townie? Yeah, she like naturally spawned. <coughs> she spawned because... um. I have the mod so that townies will move into apartments um, first and then once all my Pleasant View townies started moving in then um, then it started creating new ones. So I also have Tara now. <laughs> Who's on the lot? Oh it's Jessica Broody. I get to see you with the cordials. God I love the witches. Witches are so cool and pretty. I love them to bits. I kind of want- oh, now that I think about it, I kind of want Kimberly and Mary to get together. Mary's the evil witch. <laughs> and Mary is gorgeous. <coughs> which is just so cool in some suit. They were my favourite thing growing up. I need to have a drink of water. I feel like I'm losing my voice. <coughs> I still like them better in Sims 3. I never played with them too much in The Sims 3, but I definitely want to give it a try at some point. Like, when I start playing a little bit of Sims 3 in between my round 1 and round 2 of my Uberhood, I definitely want to play a little bit with the... I play a little bit more with the Supernaturals, because I was usually more of a strict hu uh, human Sim player, but I want to play with different occults while still having my regular human sims. Do you know where the witch's skirt is from? I have the top but I've never paired it with that skirt. It's so cute. Um, So this is an outfit. Um, I'll look it up real quick actually. Because I write all my default replacements down somewhere. Because I like keeping track of what I download and I'm a bit of an insane person like that. Um, so it is Clumsy Alien Salem Blouse and Pandora Skirt. That is the default replacement I've got for the adult female um, witches. Yeah. I definitely have the top as well though. Yeah. I think I've got a, like a separate one, but then I've got um. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Abby twenty nineteen. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely have the top on its own as well. But then I got this whole outfit um for my witches because it looks so good. I have a gossip who would rock this outfit. Yes, yes, we love to hear it. Oh my god. But yeah, top tier, top tier. Okay, um, I'm gonna have Carlos close in about 40 minutes. I should probably buy the open and close thing as well. I haven't even got the business controller mod. I should probably get that at some point. I keep saying like, I should probably get this mod and this mod. And I haven't downloaded mods in a little bit. I'm just gonna put this over here. How much money have we made today? 483 simoleons. Not too shabby. Justin Cleveland's in the pool. Um, sales to Jessica, I guess. Even though we're going to close in like 20 seconds. Chloe Gonzaga, the child of Pleasant View, is currently an adult and dating Bo Broke. They even went to college together. I'm loving her journey into an environmentalist and whimsical goth aesthetic. Oh my god, I love that. God, I... Yeah, I want to work towards a more integrated 
hood. And having my townies age up with my playables and all the sorts. Okay, we are going home. Call taxi. Go home. Everyone go home. The gym's closed. Maybe when we get an employee and we promote her to a manager, we can have it open 24-7. But for now, it's closed. <laughs> Isn't Chloe Gonzaga... I believe, if I'm, if I recall correctly, is she a redhead? I think, I thought. I feel like there's a lot of townies that are like children named Chloe that have red hair. But don't quote me on that. Maybe I'm incorrect. <laughs> um, so we made a little bit of a profit tonight. Or maybe just get in the in the taxi. Okay, well everyone is going home. There's a, a soda can on the ground, top tier. Good stuff. Thank you for littering on my lot. I will charge you and pay you. Oh no, not pay you. I will charge you and hunt you down. <laughs> She's the brunette with the pink shirt. Oh, that one! Yeah, the pixie cut. I know the one you're talking about. I always get mixed up with all of them. I need to play with them more. I know the teens, like the Blue Water Village teens so well because my teens are always inviting them over after school. Um, like Dominic. Dominic is over all the time. Um, but I don't know the children townies too well. I think the only one I know is like that, that red-headed um, child with the bowl cut. That's the only child I kind of remember off the top of my head. But yeah. You want to get a silver sales badge? Oh yeah, I should probably um, change this to a Monique's hacked computer? Question mark? I feel like you would just own a, yeah, one of these. I don't think he's that good with computers. He's just got a basic setup. Um, wait, do I see there's a locked in wish to kiss Don? Yes, <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait. Yeah, my Carlos is by <laughs> and. Don in my head canon looks up to him and considers him like like a huge idol in his romantic journeys and Carlos I kind of picture him wanting to take advantage of Don for that so it's kind of yikes but I'm going to do it <laughs> I'm going to do it from mentor to lover we love that for Carlos yes yes I love it Honestly, love that energy for him. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so happy I found like a way to play Carlos because I, I consider him like so. Usually, I'm like so bored playing elders, but I found a way to rope him in to the rest of the Uberhood, which is fun. Who is here, Olive? What are you doing? Are you have you just come over to steal my newspaper? Is that it? Is that it, Olive? Olive, I know what you're doing. Yep, yeah. yes you have. Oh, never mind, you're the welcome wagon. Well, my bad, I've been out for seven hours, so you won't be, you won't be, um, oh, they're all elders as well. We've got Isabella Monty, Pollination Tech number nine, and Olive. <laughs> well, you're gonna be waiting a while. Or going home. Good times. Uh, Carlos got 649 simoleons in his pension check. <laughs> I use ACR to make all my sims buy. I just want them with the most compatible match. I think I got used to it playing the Sims 4 where sims never consider gender. Yeah. Um, I've got so many buy sims in my uberhood I've discovered. So many buy sims. <gasps> Hello Don. Hello, Don. Don, hello. Don, I will call you up. 
at some point. King energy, honestly. Goodbye, Dawn. Okay, three hours. I've got some sims where I'm like adamant that they are probably only interested in same sex. Um, and then some sims where I'm like, could be a closet case. <laughs> like general buzz, general buzz, anyone? Um, and then, and then, um, and then some sims I'm like, okay, I don't think they would mind too much. Like Don and Nina, um, Carlos. And then the rest, I'm just kind of like, uh, they can be whatever they want. And not general buzz. General buzz is, um, I'm pretty sure I have him. He went on a date with Joe Carr, but he was kind of not having it because he's still coming to grips with uh, that side of him. Yeah, I've got General Buzz is, is bi. Okay. I don't want to do fully gay because he did have a wife and he's dealing with her passing. He's on his revenge arc, but also he's trying to learn to love again. You know that feeling. I have a little plot in my game. He gives me massive homophobe vibes, and in my game, his youngest son is gay. <gasps> You've got Buck as. Oh my god. I love that. I've got Tank as bi. I've got Rip as gay. And then General Buzz. He gives me internalized homophobia vibes, but he also gives me vibes. <laughs> the messy sims drama I had today is Bella Goth is married to Daniel Pleasant, oh boy, but sleeping with Nina Caliente, then Nina started sleeping with Alexander on the side, what the fuck, Al <laughs> Dirk had his wedding, invited all of them, and ACR had Nina kiss Alex in front of Bella, and she freaked out, ACR's chaotic as fuck, yeah, that sounds messy, <laughs> holy shit. That's hilarious though. I love ACR. I love ACR to bits. I kind of, um, I know Brianna was talking about getting that jealousy mod and I really, I, w I was also considering getting it, but I haven't downloaded mods in a little bit. And so, I don't know, I'm considering it. I said if Brie got it, then I would give it a try. So, I think it's Pescado's Jealousy mod is the one that she was talking about, I believe. Nina autonomously flirted with Alex and I let it happen because I totally forgot he is Bella's son. ACR giggling, blushing and kicking their feet right now. ACR's a literal child that is like, yeah, you two together. ACR's writing like the biggest fan fiction ever, honestly. I don't even know what I can say is like my most random ACR like thing that's happened in my game. I don't even know. Like Don Lothario and AJ Lona being a thing. We got Chloe Curious and Nina Caliente being a thing. Um, so much. There's so much stuff. Don Lothario and um, Cynthia Kim. But there's there's even like more stuff than that. I think. Um, you want to go jogging. And you want to work out on the exercise machine. Okay. I'll let you have a bubble bath though. Bubble baths are good for the bones and the muscles. Not for the bones, but for your muscles. I wish I could have baths more often, but it's not good for my skin because it heats up my skin too much. And then I flare up. It sucks. Sucks a lot. That's an L eczema moment. I play also with romantic standards, so it's not too crazy in my game when they make out since they not fall in love instantly, or maybe just one of them. Yeah, I was thinking about romantic standards, 
but I kind of like the chaos as well. I don't know. I think I've, I think I've got um because of my traits mods. I think I've got bits and pieces of different romantic standard stuff. Like I've definitely got some things in terms of random rejection at weddings, like leaving at the altar completely at random. Thank you, Timothy and Vivian, by the way, for showing that aspect of my game off that Timothy could just randomly leave Vivian at the altar. So upset about that still. I'm all done with your thumbnails. Oh my god, that's epic, Mr. Ham Kermit. I need to... I think I'm just gonna buy um, Adobe um, my membership or whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. Adobe Cloud Premium stuff for one month. Try and get all my VODs exported correctly. And then after that month I'll see if I can go to a different video editing software. I only do Premiere Pro because I know how to use Premiere Pro and a lot of my VODs are already on Premiere Pro files so I kind of want to fix that up. But once I'm done with that then I'll just kind of move on to something cheaper. I like the craziness but I don't like when they randomly kiss or flirt and they instantly fall in love because they were friends before. That makes no sense to me. That, yeah, you have a good point on that one. Um, yeah. I mean, sometimes I think about it in the sense of like, oh my god, love at first sight, <laughs> even though that's kind of cliche, but also, I don't know, I feel like I'm one of those people, hello Mr. Werewolf. Ba actually miss sorry miss werewolf bailey the werewolf right there um i feel like i'm one of those people <laughs> like oh someone talks to me i'm in love i'm in love you 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 paid attention to me get married propose to me right now let's like have babies <laughs> yeah so i'm one of those people <laughs> oopsies <laughs> Oh my god, you want to be friends with so many sims. Okay. Um, I'll have him go back to his gym. Maybe 10am. He can have a bit more of a nap when he comes home, I think. Because I don't want him getting too tired. Um, I'm going to save again. <coughs> Met someone at the supermarket. You are so hot. Honestly, let's make babies straight away. <laughs> More power to you. Hell yeah. Yeah, but it's a... It's a bit of a, a good thing and a bad thing. Because it also means that you put your feelings on the line a lot more often. <laughs> I'm currently trying to find that witch default outfit as a regular outfit, but I'm on sleeping meds and I just know I'm going to accidentally download a bunch of replacements. Um, while Carlos is sleeping, I'll try and find... What's it called? I need to look up my CC spreadsheet again. This one. Um, let me have a look. I'll see if I can track down the, um, what's it called? <laughs> the, not the, def the, the, not default version, but 
I don't know how successful I'm going to be. I keep finding the Sims 4 ones. <laughs> God damn it. Sims 4 is plaguing my searches. Worst case scenario is, um, I think I have a way for, because, um, when I got the default replacement, then it also has the witch outfit show up in Creator Sim. So I ended up, even though it's the witch outfit, I ended up still using it, um, as an everyday sort of thing. Most of the time they are linked on the creators page. Yeah. Oh wait, I think I found it. I think I found it. Oh no, that's the hat, my bad. Absolutely amazing set. The enchantment set, that's the Sims 4 thing. They don't, it only links the needle cream boots, not the outfit itself, which is frustrating. Um, yeah. Because I got it from, I think I'll just put it in chat. Can I post links in chat? Um, you can post it in my Discord. Because I don't think I have links allowed in chat also I just noticed it's one it's like t 2 p.m. in my game good times good times um call taxi we're going to the lot again actually no let's call over Don if he's home surely Don's home today surely would really love for Mr. Don Lothari to come over yes hey Don it was really good meeting you the other day Let's, do you want to come over and we can chat? Uh, but yeah, um, Queen Egan, that's all chill. Okay, I'll post the non-default in Discord in case anyone is interested. I don't know how I found it on sleeping mids, kind of proud of myself. You should be proud. I don't think even, I don't think I could do that in that state. <gasps> Hello, Don. The one, the only, Don Lothario. Hey, Don, maybe you want to come over and play with an old, <laughs> literally an old, like, pillow sack. I don't know why I'm referring to Carlos as that. I think he deserves a little bit more respect than that. You want to flirt with Tara. Did you count Kiss Kiss Darling as kissing him? That's not fair. We're doing this. Straight up kiss. Come on, do it. Yes! I love this. I love this so much. Turn off the TV, please. It's frustrating me. God damn. The chemistry. The love. You can join them. Have a little boys time or something like that. I'll definitely have him go after Tara at some point. Based. <laughs> I just noticed what Mel put in her server and promoting my channel. <laughs> That's so funny, Mel. Okay, I kind of want them to be besties, but what we might end up doing 
is this woohooing? Will this work? Wait, let's flirt. Head on. Alright, I'm gonna go take a break because I'm tired. Have a good stream. All good. Hey, I'm Kermit, Mr. Man, Kermit. If anyone in chat um, would like to, go subscribe to Mr. Ham Kermit. He does have a YouTube channel, but he's doing a rebrand at some point. But, um, go, yeah, my mods do have channels. <laughs> Squeeze. Um, yeah, we're just gonna woohoo. I think this is good. Woohoo. Oh! Oh my god, ACR. Actually, you know what? You guys can do whatever you want. You- ACR, go for it. Um, I'll lock in the want to be friends with Tara thing. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll lock in flirting with Tara. Don is still upset about the divorce with Cassandra. Did I miss the Don first kiss? Um, it didn't even, it was like the, the, he got his want fulfilled, um, when they did Kiss Kiss Darling, it was so weird. So I was like, you know what, might as well kiss. <laughs> um, I think you guys need a woohoo. <gasps> Hot tub? Yes? A little bit of Carlos Contender hot tub moment? Let's chill and have a little time after <laughs> Just casually woohoo with the boys. Oh my god. I love these two. <gasps> Samantha and Carlos are no longer best friends. That's so sad. I need a screenshot of these two. These two are iconic. Not gonna lie, I feel like. Don's a bit of a sub in this situation. <laughs> yes, it looks so good. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. I love it to pieces. Why don't people make fan art of these two? <coughs> I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> yes. Yes! <laughs> I'm just fangirling so much. I love them. It's so steamy. I know. <laughs> when I played Sims 2 years ago, I hated Don. Now he's one of my faves. Sims me too. And he's disloyal and borderline sociopath, but the man throws great dates and is actually a great dad to his kid. Yes! We love to see it. They're so cute. In a weird way. <laughs> yes, Don, hug that saggy dick. Yes, Don. <laughs> Honestly, I think like Carlos is the one sim that Don is not dominant with. In my head canon. <laughs> In my head canon. Do I wish to save my game? No, they're currently making out. <laughs> Like, Don is like the the ladies' man, but with Carlos, he's something else. Yes! I love them. I love them! He's getting tips. <laughs> and both This is such a stupid. <laughs> Quick tips. Why do I love that? Please. <laughs> I love them together so much. They're so good. So good. Yes. Plenty of woohooing this episode. Yes. <laughs> love so powerful that even the sky dims with mood lighting. Yes. And he's going to bed. Okay, good. You know, I think you need to make some dinner. Make salmon. Oh, it's so good. 
Genuinely so good. Tips and tricks with Carlos Contender. <laughs> oh, this is so inappropriate. <laughs> That's hilarious though. We love a healthy Viking, Carlos. Yes! Oh my god, it's too good. It's genuinely too good. I think Carlos is slowly becoming like one of my favorite sims. Not one, like not my favorite sim, but definitely one of the sims in Baladonna Cove that I'll consider one of my favorites. I think Kimberly and Samantha are always going to be up there in terms of my favorite sims in Baladonna Cove, but Carlos is slowly making his way up the ranks, <laughs> and I think. God, I'm gonna have to admit. Oh. Thanks for the luck, Mel. <laughs> um, oh my God, should I do a stream where I do a tier list of all the playables in my Uberhood? I might do that eventually. I won't do townies because townies is gonna take too long. But I might do it eventually. Maybe. Your cast is actually so fun. Mine is just a casual romance. <laughs> I didn't even expect them to be this fun. Like, I was just like, oh yeah, just be chill. Old man vibes. Oh, he wants to be a personal trainer? Okay, we'll get him to lure a woman and men in with his gym and being a personal trainer. At least he feeds his guests. This is like the best version of Carlos Contender I've ever had. Also, we love a man wearing speedos that has the confidence to do that. Man with such confidence. Don Lothario, everybody. Um, I will probably say goodbye to Don since we are rather sleepy. He's gonna hop back in the hot tub. <laughs> Classic Don. Actually, not. Nah, you can just stay there. We'll just go to sleep while you're here. <laughs> He'll probably walk home in his own time. But that's fine. Oh, we've got 23k. Oh yeah, that's from the pension. Not too bad. I love the, the heart bed. The love bed. Also, I definitely want to get rid of this door because he keeps walking through the bathroom to get to his bedroom and it bugs me so I'm gonna just delete that door also love the walk-in wardrobe here with the two door okay I'm doing an archway type thing I think wait I have an idea it's temporary, but I'm gonna do that so it's more cohesive. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll save the game now though. I'm not much into speedos, but there are some men who are kind of hot um, looking in them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm usually the same. I'm not very much a speedos person. There's like, but if you if you ever find someone like a man that actually looks good in speedos, then you just gotta respect that that they look good in the speedos. I have I still haven't found any men IRL though that look good in speedos. It's a very rare thing. I have a family sim with the aspiration award for more likely twins. Does that mean she'll always have twins? She wants to graduate three kids from college. She has twins right now, but I'm afraid for her to get pregnant again with more twins. Yeah, the super fertility thing means that they're definitely more likely to have twins. It's a higher chance for them to have twins. Um, doesn't mean they're guaranteed to have twins, but it's definitely very likely. I'll just double check though.
Du, 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 du. Yeah, so they're definitely more prone for twins. <laughs> A very fun thing. Also, Don, go home. We're sleeping. This man's sleeping in the hot tub. I was so happy to get twins the first time, but now I'm a little scared. Worst case scenario, you could, um, adopt if you don't want to have twins. But I do understand that you would want to have genetic children. Play around with the genetics a bit. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword. <laughs> Go home, Don. <laughs> Carlos has gained... Enthusiasm and fitness. How? You want to woohoo with three different sims? Okay. <laughs> BFFs with Don. Go home, Don! It's 1am! Perfect. Goals. Actual goals. I love them. I'm gonna have to look, like, search the internet to see if anyone has made fan art of those two together. Because I always, the fan art I always see is Daniel, Nina, and Don. Which is quite an interesting trio. <laughs> but then again, I mean, not everyone plays Uberhoods, but I think it's something that needs to happen. I think that, not, not that you have to play Uberhoods, I just think that. Carlos and Don fan art needs to happen. <laughs> um, can we... We can make... Protein shake, yeah. I was like, he can make protein shakes. So, we're up to our last day with Carlos already. I think I'm going to spend that at the gym. I don't know what these protein sh shakes actually do. Oh, hunger. Cool. <laughs> the usual thing. It seems to go up a lot though. Which I don't mind. Funny enough, my Daniel is not too cheaty right now, just a little. <sighs> Daniel Pleasant. Daniel Pleasant is swine in my Uberhood. He um So he cheated on Mary Sue with Kaylin, you know the obvious. But then he cheated on Kaylin with Cleo Shikaboo from River Blossom Hills. Um, and then Kaylin caught him. Kaylin's not very happy with him right now. Um, and now, uh, Cleo has gotten pregnant with Daniel's child. And it's messy. Um, and then Mary Sue and Angela and the oldies have moved to Baldona Cove into an apartment. Um, and they're going to file some divorce settlements and stuff like that. While Lilith is with Daniel, but Lilith has run away at the moment. Also, there's an ad. <laughs> I think there's an ad going on right now. I'm double checking. Pretty sure there's an ad. <laughs> I had Daniel have a baby with Nina. <sighs> I have never done that. I haven't done that yet. I definitely want to do that though. Because who doesn't love little redhead babies? They're cute. Also, Daniel and Nina are pretty good looking sims, not gonna lie. But I always had Nina and. Nina and Don always ended up being in a sort of polyamorous relationship. Um, but in my Uberhood currently. I think Don and Dina are currently on like some sort of villain arc to try and steal money from a bunch of the more wealthy families in the Uberhood. Because <laughs> Dina is currently on the quest to marry Malcolm for his money and then kill him. And then run back to Don with the money. Since Don's whole getting married with Cassandra and getting some of her money didn't work out. I also had Don marry Cassandra and have two kids with Cassandra. I've done that before. Um, Don, I have had instances where he and Cassandra actually got married. 
and then they were happy families for a while, but then Don couldn't completely stop cheating. So him and Cassandra had like three kids, and he started getting the wants to meet new sims and um, go on dates with different sims, you know, kiss at different sims and stuff like that, and I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't, um, I can't stop it. <laughs> Mary Sue and Don are engaged in your game. My Daniel got Mary Sue prego again. Yeah, my Daniel also got Mary Sue pregnant again. I think she's giving birth next round. Oh my god, Daniel's gonna have a bunch of new kids next round. This is There's a lot happening. I don't what I'm also, I'm also kind of scared that my uberhood is just going to all become related. So that's why eventually I'll be bringing in the university playables as fresh meat. Worst case scenario. But um, yeah. Daniel is a hottie so I like that for him. Yeah. He may be scum but he's hot. So I can't hate him entirely. I always put Don and Cassandra together but he ends up getting other people pregnant. <laughs> Yeah, that's a classic Don Lothario moment. <laughs> we love that for Don though, we can't completely hate him. Why do I feel like Carlos is the type to hire a maid and it's Remington Harris and then he seduces Remington Harris? Also, I used to have such a crush on Remington Harris back in the day. I thought he was like such a good looking maid in the game. God, I love Remington. Um, is there anything else I need to clean up? I'll just make the bed. Clean the stove. I'm just trying to make sure everything is spick and span before we go out. God, I hate how slow elders walk. Uh, recycle, recycle. Where's the other one? Surely there's, there's another one, right? I thought there was three. Oh, well. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, it's here. It's hiding. Okay. Um, after that, we will call taxi and go to the gym. I, Daniel and Mary Sue have another baby and Daniel is also an elder now in my save. I think I've only, I've got such a bad habit with starting like neighborhoods and only playing them for like two or three rounds and then I take a break, come back and I'm like, I wanna start this over again. So I've, I've only reached the point where Daniel becomes an elder once, I think. So, another thing with streaming is I want to play one save for a for an extended amount of time. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's another reason why. Oh my god, you just dropped that on the ground. Please clean that up. So yeah, I streaming my neighborhood also encourages me to play. For a, for a long amount of time. Long period of time, I think is the right way of saying that. <laughs> he has a fear of being rejected for toss football. Oh no. I'm so sorry you fear that. <laughs> Hopefully Tara comes by. If not, all good. We can call her up when we come back home. I don't know if we're going to be able to go on a date with her, but we can definitely invite her over or try to talk to her on the phone. But yeah. Also, for those that, um, oh my god, hey Tar Heel Doom Guy, how you doing? Um, Oh yeah, what was I? I 
always start my sentences and then I half finish them and I'm like, I don't know what I was saying. Um, for those that are new to the Uberhood and um, want to catch up slightly, I have been uploading all my Uberhood VODs on my VODs channel. They're, it's currently all the way up to River Blossom Hills, near the end of River Blossom Hills right now, but I am still currently working on um, getting it up to date. So we are quite close to being up to date. Um, I'm just working on yeah, being just frequently up uploading. I'm going to be uploading the um, the raft VOD, I think, after stream today. And then the Omaki VOD is coming out tomorrow. But yeah. I've got I'm I'm trying to line up all my VODs so I can quickly catch up. Ooh, Tara de Bateau. Tara's so cute. She looks so sassy as well. I love her so much. Basic cell. We need money. Her dad probably bought her that outfit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> cool. Uh, just do another sales real quick. Benjamin Long. Interesting, interesting. He's wearing some wacky default replacements. I'm not going to be a personal trainer for teenagers because I think that's a little weird for Carlos. Also, I want him to pick up this can off the ground. It's kind of bugging me. Who else is here? Consort! What an interesting arrival. Hmm. Coat and shorts, this man's fashion sense is all over the place. Yeah. It's like a v-neck, a hoodie, and then like some sort of like leather jacket with the elastic sort of, not like the cuffs, the weird cuffs that are completely different from the jacket. It's it's a look. And it's not a good look, but it's a look. Talk about hobby. Please don't talk to the teenager. Oh wait, I need to set a new price actually. Benjamin is into Carlos. Wait, is he? Bro came to the gym with the suit. <laughs> oh wait, it's still fine. Okay. Um, basic cell. Well, consort cap is a very, very rich man. Um, he's uh in the business career, and his family are very known for being for having a lot of money. <laughs> Go offer lessons to Benjamin. Are you attracted to him? <gasps> Two bolts. I don't know if Benjamin was was into men. I love that. What? Hey Carlos, hey did I ever mention to you that I work in a discount home furnishings warehouse? If your household ever needs to buy anything for your home, I'll make sure that your household gets it at a low cost. Yes, Benjamin. Okay, we're going to romance Benjamin at some point. <laughs> Oh my god, they're always so angry when they do this. He's like, yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Imagine it's the person that stole the, your dog. I don't know. Just not right now, for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Well, the gym is for him to lure in people to seduce. So, Carlos knows no boundaries. Don might be handsome, but Benjamin is saving you money. I know who I choose. Yeah. I kind of don't hate it. He's got two bolts as well. And I always didn't... I also kind of like Benjamin. He's not a terrible looking sim. He's got an interesting nose. Like, right there. Look at that. Schnoz. I was trying to think of the word. 
he sure has a schnoz and some interesting eyebrows, but other than that, he's not too bad. Consort, please. I can't hear anything over your your woots. <laughs> Okay. Shapes like a shoe! <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, man. Benjamin is kind of giving me pre-serum Steve Rogers! Yes! Oh my god. You're so right. Genuinely, I have never heard anything more correct than that. Little scrawny Steve Rogers moment. Flat. We're flirting. We're gonna flirt. Charm. Right now. Guys, like, you did so well there. I'm really impressed with uh, your skills. And he's like, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I kind of love these two. <laughs> Um, use the bathroom, sir. Be annoyed. No thanks, consort. Actually, no, I might let that happen. Maybe. Where's irritate? Annoy. We'll just do it. I need to stop, like, getting upset at my sims when they try to be mean to each other. I need more drama. Yeah, just do it. I don't mind. Not all my sims can be friends. <gasps> we got rank one! <coughs> okay. Maybe there is a chance Carlos wants to settle down with someone. I had that the other day and I was shocked. That was me with Don when um, he got the want to get engaged to Dina. Um, now what I'm thinking for this business is... Ooh. I kind of want to work on connections and motivation. Yeah, so I want to do notable reputation. Because you'll get a boost with... Um, all new relationships, so I think that'll help. <coughs> Bro, my I'm still trying to get over this cold, and it's mostly gone. But oh my god, it's still annoying. Um, off a lesson. Wait, maybe not Benjamin again. He needs food. Oh no, he finished. Why don't we offer lessons to Benjamin again? Same, my Chloe had the want to propose to someone. That's insane. I don't think I've ever gotten to the point where Chloe wants to get married. Yet. Though she is pretty head over heels with Nina right now. I'm off to bed. Night everyone, but especially to healthy by King Carlos. Thank you for popping by the stream, Queen Negan. I hope you have a good rest. And um, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Whether it's in my chat or brief. <laughs> Here we go. He seems pretty fit, honestly. Is anyone else coming by today? It's already 3 pm. We've made 294 simoleons. Tara's still here. Consort's still here. Oh, you got a loyalty star. Wait, how many do you have, Tara? Oh, just one. And then Benjamin's got one. Justin got one. And Mortimer got one. Okay, not too bad. Um, we need three more customer loyalty stars to reach the next level. But I like it. Carlos has gained enthusiasm in sports. He can now browse the web for sites relating to that hobby. How many little blobs is that? Four? That's pretty good. He'll get the membership very soon. I 
I kind of love um, Tara's little bathing suit. <laughs> it's really cute. The little pink polka dots on the blue. Be appreciated. Be appreciated. What? Oh, okay. I guess I can offer lessons to the child. The teenager, I guess. Did Benjamin go home? That is so sad. Wait, who else gained a point? Was it Consort? It was Consort! So we only need two more. We're doing quite well. <gasps> Morty Roth! The one and only! What a what a good looking man. What a specimen. <laughs> I didn't even give him any plastic surgery. He looks great. <laughs> what did you... I don't know what happened. Oh, she got another skill point. I see. Um, I might have to make a sale to Morty real quick. Isn't Morty that one sim that looks great but has unfortunate genes? Probably. I don't know too much about him because um, I haven't played too much with River Blossom Hills. But yeah, we'll have to see. If he does end up having another baby with Stella, then I'll just be careful on the genetics. But, um, then again, Stella is currently cheating on Morty with Jason Larson right now, so, yeah, yeah. I watched a video by Murtakora, and she talked about some sims who are like that. Oh, like, um, yeah, actually, yeah, like, broken face template and stuff like that. Chester Gek geek. I know it's geek, but Chester Gek. I love saying his name like that. <laughs> Even though it's geek. Hello, I'm Carlos Contender. I own this gym. You should really get access. Buy a membership right now today for $21 an hour. <laughs> Offer lessons to Morty. I think Morty could use the lessons for his adventure career, actually. <laughs> How much money have we made? <laughs> Nearly 500. Not terrible, not too bad. <laughs> this man kept his wedding ring on to a uh, to punch the punching bag. That That is actually dedication. Little does he know. Oh my god, these two. <laughs> Little does he know his wife's cheating on him with a younger man. Which I have uploaded that bot at least. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to close it at 8.30 or 8 o'clock. Yeah, 8 o'clock. Call taxi. His wife is so good looking, not gonna lie. Yeah. Stella Roth is a bit of a baddie. <laughs> uh, we're going home. Seeing if I can invite Tara over before it's too late. I should probably turn off the... I'm going to turn off the stereo. <laughs> no one... Oh, Chester, go home! <laughs> go home, Chester. How long have you been here for? Don't steal my exercise equipment. Go home. Cool. So this is going to be the final night 
for Carlos and then we'll be moving on to the Cordial Sisters. But I'm going to see what we can do in terms of just one last romance for Carlos before we finish up with him. Also, guys, we're getting so close to 150 followers. It's actually insane. Like, thank you for all the support and the love. It means so much. Genuinely. <laughs> I I don't know if that sounds not genuine. G genuine? Genuine. But I, it genuinely does mean so much to me that people are liking the stuff I'm doing. And that I've got people in chat that I can talk about stuff I'm passionate about with, like The Sims. But yeah. Okay. When he gets home, we're going to call up Sim. You deserve all this. Thank you so much, Mira. <laughs> that means so much. Uh, we got a pension check. Denise Jacquet or jacket. Jacket. Kimberly's no longer a family friend, honestly, for the good of her. <laughs> Kimberly Cordial and Carlos are no longer best friends. I'll save when he gets home. It's becoming dusk. He was out for a long time today. I didn't even realize. Oh, Chastity, I'm not home. Chastity, I'm sorry, but I'm not home. My bad, Chastity. Oh, we could woo her chastity if she stays long enough, but I don't think she will. Yeah, she's going home. Okay. I'm still trying to um figure out what's a good time schedule to stream. Because I have some viewers from the States and a few from Europe, but then also um, there's some from New Zealand, where I'm from. Um, same with my friends and such like that, um, who are from New Zealand. And then I've got a few from Australia. And I'm trying to figure out a good time to be able to cater to everyone. Some of the time I'm kind of experimenting with time slots so it's still a bit of a work in progress <laughs> um okay where is tara where is tara Olby? can we invite you over i don't know if we're close enough <gasps> can my friend come over too yes she can or he can yes they can yes they can Okay. You invited Andrew. Yeah, no, never mind. We're passing on Andrew. We're just going to greet Tara. <laughs> cool. Go home, Andrew. <laughs> Um, Fleur, Charm, how close are you being friends? You're kind of close. 43 over 22. Um, you want to be friends with Tara, Pollination Tech number 9, Chester, Morty, you have a crush on him. Oh my god, you've got weird standards. Okay, I'm asking this man to leave. Go home, sir. <laughs> He's walking through the house to go home. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay, they're friends. Friendly hug. A little bit of a 
Oh, we'll do tickle. A joke. Um, sing folk song. No. Suggestion. And oh wait, Carlos like gives me the vibe of being the type to kiss hand. I see a bunch of South American and Russian streamers play a bunch of old games all the time, which is cool. Yeah, I love seeing that. I love um, the idea of showing off these old games um, like today and still showing that they can hold up today or could still be fun over some other games. <laughs> Cough, Sims 4. Um, <laughs> Even though I do kind of want to try that new pack out, I'm a little intrigued by it, but I think I'm going to wait till it's on sale <laughs> because I don't want to give EA all my money. Though I most definitely do want to pre-order uh, pre Life by You. I'm very intrigued by that. Very, very intrigued by that. Um, sweet Talk? Tender kiss, back rub, dirty joke. It's getting late, so I guess we'll just end it off with a woohoo if we can. Um, okay. On the bed. Hey Leo, how's it going? I'm so excited for Life by You, me too. Oh yeah, save game. Thank you so much, Mira. Pretty good. What you been up to? How's uni going? <laughs> I can't wait for it. Yeah, I... It's so interesting. I love the idea of um, the backstories. Like, the, the different backgrounds you can give your sims. I think that's so genius to add in. Like, you can give... They could have a criminal background or they have a rural upbringing and it's like, it just adds so much. We all know it's more than likely because they're living in poverty. Yeah, that's the only thing. Okay, I wonder if she's gonna... I wonder if she's going to accept his advances. Surely she does. She's got a bit of an interesting jawline, but I kind of love it. Also, I'm going to have to get up a random number generator. Random.org. 1-200, okay. So who has he woohooed with so far? Don and Vivian. Right. I hope Vivian's not pregnant again. Jawlines definitely make her more noticeable and memorable. Yeah, I definitely think so. Oh, they're gossiping about Timothy. <laughs> Did you hear that like weird surgeon dude like left his one true love at the altar at her wedding? Like, what was up with that? Oh, that sucks. I'm so sorry to hear that for them. That must be awful. I feel bad for the girl. Who's the girl? Oh, I think her name is uh, Vivian. Oh, yeah, I, I met her the other night at the club. Yeah, she brought her kid for some reason. Yeah, top tier stuff. Are you guys going to do the thing? Nat, what are you talking about? Just made up conversations between my sims. I like doing that. Third woohoo of the episode of the stream. Hell yeah. You still got it, Carlos. Okay, I need a roller one to a hundred. Also, he's hungry. Wake up. I want to make sure I finish his round with him not dying. Okay, I'm gonna roll a number from 1 to 100. If we get 1 to 20, she's pregnant. Oh, thank fuck, it's 84. She's not pregnant. Cool. 
Cool, 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 cool. Um, salmon. Cool. I keep saying cool now. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get him to eat. What's your cooking skill? Level 7, not too bad, actually. And then he can go to bed and I'll save. Okay, so I need to change my season lengths to four days and we're saving it there. So that's the end of the round with Carl's Contender. Um, once again, as I always say, I have no idea when the heck I'm getting back to him because Uberhoods take forever for me to get through families, neighborhoods, the whole sort. Um, but yeah, next time I definitely want to develop his gym a lot more. I think that'll be fun. He needs to get a little bit more money. Um, I do want to renovate the gym when he's got a bit more cash maybe he'll ask Isabel for a little bit of a loan we'll see about that um but yeah we're just gonna move on now <laughs>